Many introduced species in Australia were originally introduced as it was suspected that they could help with a broad range of environmental issues, such as wildcats being introduced to control the rabbit and mice problem. These introduced species include foxes, rabbits, cats, goats, dingoes and cane toads. Introduced species are now thought to be causing more problems than they solve, as they generally have few natural predators, are resistant to diseases and reproduce at high rates. Introduced species are dangerous for native species, as they compete for food, shelter and water. There are a number of control methods, including lethal methods such as shooting, trapping and poisoning, and non-lethal such as barriers into certain land, fertility control and harbour destruction when the animal is not present at the time. Cane toads were introduced into Australia in the 1930s from America as cane growers believed they would help take out the beetles that were eating the cane growing in northern Queensland. They were thought to be the ideal solution as they are able to eat up to 22 insects per feed. However, due to the poisonous nature of cane toads, they began to eat everything but the cane beetles. It was not understood at the time but soon came to realisation that because of their weight and size, they are not able to jump high enough to eat the beetles on the sugar cane. Only 102 toads were first introduced. However, they are rapidly growing and are a major problem throughout northern Queensland, and now there are estimated to be several millions. Their poison is toxic to many animals, affecting the functioning of the heart. They are demolishing native Australian species and most species habituating in Australia have not yet developed an immunity to the toad's poison. Research suggests that impact is greatest when the whole toad is ingested. Toads must breed in bodies of water, so eggs, hatchlings and tadpoles are toxic to small aquatic life. Many snakes are at risk of dying after ingesting cane toads as they often eat species of frogs and toads whole due to their dieting habits. Domestic dogs are also at risk, as they believe the toad is playing with them. Cane toads have lethal implications to many Australian native species, however more research is always being performed to learn the impacts throughout the food web. Cane toads offer an easy way to investigate invasiveness, due to the amount of information available on the species and other invasive species. The growth of cane toads is now more than ever, and they are moving into different types of environments they have not yet been exposed to, so damage is yet unknown.